Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're going to be discussing the three recalls that have happened to the thyroid medication NDT in the year 2020. So 2020 has been a rough year for more reasons than one, and it hasn't been good to thyroid patients. If you don't know what NDT is, NDT stands for natural desiccated thyroid, and it's actually a, a way to describe a group of medications which are all usually porcine sourced, and they come from the, um, the thyroid glands of animals, and they contain various degrees of, of T4 and T3 thyroid hormone, depending on the dose. And these are thought to be really, really good thyroid medication. So these recalls are actually a big deal for thyroid patients. So if you don't know me, I'm Dr. Childs. I'm an internist and I specialize in treating patients with thyroid problems, helping people with hormone imbalances, and of course, helping people lose weight. But today we're talking about NDT recalls in the year 2020. So I've seen a lot of patients who know about one or two, or maybe they know about all three, but haven't really put them all together. So I wanna put them all together for you, um, lay them out when they happened, what they actually mean, why they occurred, what it means for you as a thyroid patient, probably for the next year or so in terms of getting these medications. And then also I'll, I'll briefly mention some other alternatives that you can use if your medication has been swiped off the market. So let's start here. The first one happened in May, and by the way, this is all 2020. So the first one happened in May, and that was to, May 22nd, and that was to NP thyroid. So I think a lot of people heard about this one, and what happened here is that the doses of NP thyroid were what they refer to as super potent, or it was recalled for super potency. And basically what that means is it was greater than 110% uh, of thyroid hormone found in that medication. So if they claim that there was 38 micrograms, um, 38 micrograms of um, thyroid hormone or T4 or T3, then really what was happening is you were getting 110% of this amount. So you're actually getting more of the thyroid hormone than you thought that you were getting in each dose. And obviously the, the FDA regulates this very closely because they wanna make sure if, if, you know, if your doctor says, hey, I need you to get exactly 100 micrograms or whatever it is, 50 micrograms, that you're getting pretty close to that amount. Now NDT and um, some of the other uh, brands of NDT, they have a little more leeway. They actually have um, a 10% uh, give over 100%, so they can go to 109% or to 91%. So they can kind of be within this range, and it's actually a pretty big range because you can imagine one month maybe you got a lot that had 108% of your NDT dose, then the next month you got one that had 92%. So it can fluctuate, you know, pretty wildly, wildly within about 19 percentage point from um, dose to dose, depending on which lot you got. So that is something to consider, uh, just for you to be aware of if you're a thyroid patient, but that's what this means. So super potency means that each lot of the medication had actually more than that 110% that, um, that they, or they had more than 110% in each, in each dose, and that's a problem. And this occurred only, not in every single lot, but it occurred in these 30 milligrams, 60 milligrams, and 90 milligrams. So you probably know this if you were on NP, NP thyroid at the time, because around this time it got very difficult to get NP thyroid. Um, in fact, people haven't really been able to get it very well. As far as I know, there are probably some of you out here, out there who have been able to still get it, but this was like the first big recall of 2020. The next one happened, and this was a, a lot bigger deal. This one happened on September 3rd, 2020, uh, and it occurred to both Nature Thyroid and WP Thyroid, and this was for subpotency. So remember, most of these ones uh, for NP thyroid were due to having too much thyroid hormone. The one that happened on to Nature Thyroid and um, WP Thyroid was for subpotency, so they didn't have enough. There, there wasn't enough thyroid hormone in each of the lots. But the problem was this occurred with all lots. So effectively, on this day, or you know, pretty soon thereafter, they basically had to recall all of those medications, all WP Thyroid and Nature Thyroid, all lots that were out that were you know that were going to expire at some point. So that was a really big blow if you were on any one of those because before it was remember it was already difficult to get NP Thyroid because of this recall. Now they took away every single lot of Nature Thoid and WP Thyroid. So those weren't really on the market anymore either. Um, and so a lot of people have been scrambling. And again, a lot of people I think knew about this one, but then this one kind of went under the radar because it happened also in, in uh, September, but this one happened on the 17th. And this was to NP Thyroid again. So we had the NP Thyroid up number one that happened in May. Then a second recall happened September 17th, and this was to NP thyroid, but for the opposite reason. So this was for subpotency when this one was for superpotency originally. And then this one got rid of the 15 milligram and the 120 milligram dose. So now you can't have 15, 30, 60, uh, 90, or 120 of NP thyroid, and you can't have any lot of Nature Thoid and WP thyroid. So these recalls have effectively eliminated WP thyroid, Nature Thoid, and NP thyroid for an indefinite amount of time. Now they're gonna start ramping up production and try and get these things out as soon as possible. But in my experience, this usually takes about six to 12 months 
to get to really get these back up and to get these in the pharmacy so people can start getting on them. Now, certain places will get them sooner, but what ends up happening is you have three different medications. So you can imagine there's a ton of thyroid patients, maybe taking, you know, uh, let's say Nature Thyroid in this case. So these people no longer have Nature Thyroid. So what happens when NP Thyroid comes out? They're going to all switch over to NP Thyroid, which means the existing uh, lots of NP Thyroid, they're just going to disappear almost immediately. So what that's going to do is it's going to cause strain on the NDT Thyroid you know, market for probably six to 12 months. So even if they started production right away and started to pump this stuff out, it's gonna be difficult to get these medications, these three anyway, for probably six to 12 months. And if you are in the United States and you're looking for an alternative and you wanna stay on ADT, right now pretty much all your choices, Armour Thyroid. Now Armour Thyroid isn't perfect, it has some other issues, which I'll talk about in other videos coming up here. Um, but Armour Thyroid, again, if you really want to be an NDT, if you feel that it's working for you, you can get on Armour. Now, my recommendation is to probably switch at this time. Um, I think this works better. So you can get T4 plus T3. Um, and if you use Tyrosint, which is a T4 only, you can substitute that with either Cytomel, Lyothyronine, I'll just abbreviate there, or sustained release T3. So you can still get the T4, T3 combo that's found in NDT, but you just have to get them individually. So all hope is not lost, but it will take you know a little bit of tweaking on your end to figure out what works for you and to, to get to the right dose and all these other things. So it's gonna take a little legwork, uh, but but you know don't be disheartened by the news. It does, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's a big blow to thyroid medication in the year 2020, no question about that. Um, but again, there are things that you can do. Um, I'm, I, I prefer, honestly, this combination anyway, regardless of what happened up here. Uh, this was my sort of preferred route to go. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. I think this is better anyway, because you can titrate the individual T4, the individual T3, you can really find and, and hone in on, on what the patient needs using this route. So I do think it's superior anyway, but I do recognize that a lot of people taking NDT, they love it, right? They love it and they do really well on it. So why would they want to switch? So that those are the three recalls that have happened in the year 2020. Um, if you've been affected by these recalls, leave your comment below. I want to hear about it. Um, let me know which medication you were taking. And also, if you've been able to find replacements you know, at various pharmacies, also let us know down below um, in the comment section because it's really helpful to know, you know wh where things are available. I've made several calls to pharmacies. I've made calls out to the uh, manufacturers, um, and it's hit or miss. You know, sometimes I'll get information some, that's helpful, and sometimes I won't. Uh, but you know, if we have a, a network of people, we can get more information. And lastly, don't forget to download my free PDF or thyroid PDF resources. I have tons of information about the thyroid, which is all free and you can download it and it's really helpful. So if you like this sort of stuff, I think you'll like that. Um, and that's all I have for you guys today. And otherwise I'll see you in the next one.